हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द वेबोडियम ट्यूटोरियल इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी कवर्ड अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट अ प्रोजेक्ट हाउ टू अपलोड इमेजेस टू द वेबोडियम हाउ टू क्रिएट ऑर्थो फोटो मैप हाउ टू क्रिएट डिजिटल सरफेस मॉडल एंड वी आल्सो चेकड आउट डिफरेंट ऑप्शन ऑफ लेवल इन द टू डी व्यू आई हैव पुट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू आर प्रीवियस वीडियो यू कैन चेक इट आउट इफ यू हैवेंट ऑलरेडी so in the today's video we are going to cover point cloud and textured model and what all analysis we can do so let's quickly get into it i have already created few demo project so let me just use the sample asphalt map where at the time of uploading the images i chose these options use 3d mesh true digital terrain model true mesh size 300000 mesh of tree depth 11 digital surface model true depth map resolution 1000 so these were the options that i selected while uploading these images and that's how our output is generated let's see what happens when we select the 3d view model we are being taken to this screen and now if you zoom you will be able to see uh, it is a point cloud and these are all individual points on the surface every point has x y and z coordinates and some rgb values so let's see what all we can do over here first of all there is an option to show cameras this shows the location from where the image was captured so if you select one for example this it shows the details of the image then there is an option for textured model if you click over it this point cloud would be converted into a textured model it will take some time a textured model is usually created for the representation purposes but usually all the measurements are done in the point cloud okay you can see over here we have converted our point cloud into 3d textured model and that's how it looks you also can download it using this option the files would be downloaded in .obj format so let's switch back to our point cloud and let's check what is there in the appearance with the help of the appearance tab you can refine the point cloud you can increase the number of points present you can also increase or decrease the field view size you can also fix color and lighting and you can also change the background so let's just go ahead with the gradient all right so after appearance we we'll move to the most important thing tools and we'll see first of all what all measurement tools are available first of all there is angle measurement tool what we can do from this tool is we can measure the angle between two structures or two objects we can mark three points we can measure the angle between them all right then we have the point measurement tool so with the help of this tool we have the x y and z information of the point next we can move towards the distance measurement 
this tool allows us to measure the distance between two points. As you can see, in between two piles, there is a distance of 25.16 meter. Or what you can do is you can also measure the parameter. Like this. And then you can also check in the seam. This is telling us the properties of all the points marked over here. So it is giving the x, y, and z location of all the points, and it is marking the distance between all the points and also the total distance, which is the perimeter. Okay, so from the scene, you can basically manage all the different layers we are creating. Measurements are created as a separate layer over the base map. Let me just hide those. Yeah. So let's move to the height measurement tool it is again one important tool basically we can select two points we can mark the first point on the object of which we want to calculate the height and then the second point can be marked on the ground and then it calculates the height so it is one of the very useful tools then there is this another tool circle measurement tool here you can mark one point as a center and then create a circle using it. So for example, I have created the circle around this stockpile. And from the scene, I can see the radius which is 7.836 meters and the circumference and the coordinates of the center point so that's how we can use the circle measurement tool another important tool is the area measurement so we can quickly go ahead and create one area and from here again in the scene you can see the properties of all the points the distances and the area you can also calculate the volume in the point cloud there are two different tools volume measurement using a cuboid structure it will help you in calculating the volume of any object which is cube or cuboid in the shape so for example, let's try and calculate the volume of this truck. These volume measurements are not so accurate in the 3D structures. Reason being, it is calculating the volume of this whole cuboid over here. So as you can see, now it is giving volume as 28 meter cube with other details over here. But this is not the exact volume of the truck. It is also including this extra area. It is calculating the volume of whole cuboid. So that's one of the issue. But if your structures are like buildings, then you can use this tool very well. Also, there is one more volume measurement tool which helps to calculate the volume of any sphere object. It is not exactly the sphere, so we might not get the exact volume. But if there is any sphere object on the ground, then it will help you to calculate the 
volume of that structure so right now you can see it is calculating volume as 983.69 meter cube so here the extra volume is included if you can see the black lines it is calculating the volume of whole sphere so it's better to use volume measurement tool in the ortho photo where it basically uses the digital surface model to calculate the exact volume let's move to the next tool which is the height profile what you can do from this tool is mark any point on the land for example i have marked these two points and now if i'll go to the scene i'll get this option to show 2d profile here wherever i'll keep my mouse it will show me the points and give me details of those points so over here you can see the x and y coordinates of any point and z shows the height and rgb value of every point present on this line it shows the total number of points as 47556 which are present on the line you can export this data in csv and less format respectively this is the annotation tool you can mark some area and give it a name and you can use this option to remove all your measurements on the map now there are few clipping tools available over here volume clip helps you to remove any 3d structure from the map for example we'll try to remove this stockpile yeah so so there are two options you can remove any 3d object using this tool that is my stockpile similarly from the polygon clip you can crop an area in the map you can crop it out separately or remove it from the map and if you switch to this orthographic view you can use the sectional clipping tool as well scene tab is also a very important part from the scene tab you can export your measurements annotations in .json, .dxf and poetry formats there is again this option to share the map and you can switch to the 2d view from over here that's all in the today's video